My name is Lisa Samuels. I'm a qualified somatologist and a lecturer at the prestigious Isaac Austin's Academy of Health and Skin Care. I'm also a fourth year student at Isaac Austin's Academy of Health and Skin Care, currently studying for my advanced diploma in thermal aesthetics. I'm also a single mother to a five-year-old. So I come from a very musical family and growing up I learned how to play piano and a few other instruments. In high school I decided to go to an art school to further my career in music, hoping to eventually make something out of music after matriculating. Somewhere along the line my passion for music took a bit of a turn so I decided to go for my second option which was going into the beauty industry and I then went to the open day for Isaac Austin's Academy and I knew then and there that that is exactly what I wanted to do. So once you start studying at a somatology college like Isaac Austin's Academy, you obviously um, have the practical side of things as well as the theory side. Um, so as you as you practice these different techniques um, like your skin care, your body care, your nail care and makeup as well, you start to find out or start to develop new skills and knowledge and in that three-year course you kind of figure out what works for you and what your passion is and what you're best um, at performing. So with me, I was always a strong skin therapist um, and funny enough I am now the head um, first and second year skin lecturer at um, the Pretoria campus for Isaac Austin's Academy. So yeah, um, you do become a well-rounded therapist which is what we what we train our students to be but you will always be strong in stronger in certain components so a lot of people um, don't really know the 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 knowledge that somatologists hold um, it's very different to studying beauty therapy with your somatology course you learn a lot about um, anatomy which is one of the main subjects um, in this three-year course. Um, so what we try to uh, or what we do is we, um, we train our therapists to um, know inside and outside of the body. We train to um, we train to have our somatologists um, have a holistic approach to their treatment so that they're not just treating from the outside but treating from the inside as well and in order to do that you need to know the body as a whole which is why anatomy and physiology is a very important subject to know. I would say the highlight of my career is basically where I'm at now. Um, People always ask, where do you find yourself in five years' time? Uh, being a lecturer was always something that I wanted to do. I knew from second year that I wanted to become a lecturer. I always thought that you only become a lecturer in your 30s. So it was always a goal of mine to become a lecturer when I reached my 30s. I'm only now in my late 20s. In my early 20s, I was approached to um, come for an interview at Isaac Austin's to become a lecturer and at the age of 24 I became a lecturer and now when people ask me the where do you find yourself in five years question I can't really answer that yet because I reached my five-year goal um, before, before time so I'm still trying to figure out what my five-year goal is right now. So with my job, it's not just about teaching the students and training them to become the best um, somatologists in the industry, which is what our goal is at Isaac Austin's. Um, for me, and personally for me, it's very much about um, sharing the knowledge and skills 
with the students that I have right now and showing them what I can do and what they can do in the industry and the impact they can have um, on their clients and in the industry as well. Empowerment is also not specific to age, you're never too old or too young to have an impact on in someone's life. Um, being a very young lecturer, some of my students are actually older than me, um, but I still have some sort of impact in their lives and in their, in their study career and that, um, that really makes my heart warm. Um, some of the students are not too much younger than me, so um, being able to have some sort of impact on the, in their lives is very heartwarming for me. Firstly, I would say my mother. Um, she's taught me to always be strong with whatever happens in your life. Um, she's always supportive um, with whatever I want to do in my life, and especially, especially with being a single mother. Another woman who inspires me is my previous lecturer, Inga Ferreira. She actually inspired me to become a lecturer, and she is now my colleague and my close friend and my manager as well and seeing her work in the industry and everything she does in this industry and at Isa Costins really inspired and inspires me to become a better lecturer and do more in this industry.